with the way Kyle Tucker is playing, the Astros have to find a way to extend him, even if it comes at the expense of some other players getting paid. And we're talking big names. Are we talking about Alex Bregman? Yes, who did go two for five last night, but struggled in New York, had a strikeout in the ninth. Are we talking about Jose Altuve? Maybe, but probably not. Are we talking about Framber Valdez? Maybe, but probably not. This was such a clutch moment by Kyle Tucker in a season where he's had a lot of them and has been fantastic. He's been the Astros' best player this year. You got to find a way to keep him around long term because this is what you saw a couple of years ago when he was towards the top 10 in just about every major statistic that you get for a hitter. It was a hell of a win. And Tucker's the biggest reason for it. And there are, of course, other guys along the way who helped out. But that is the most satisfying victory of the season thus far for the Houston Astros. And if Tucker's doing stuff like that, you got to pay him. The question is just, what is it going to cost? Are the Astros going to be willing to pay a guy like Kyle Tucker $300 million? Are they going to be willing to go that far? They have yet to do that. That has been the one thing that has separated them from all of baseball's contenders in terms of spenders the last couple of years. That is not something that they have been willing to do. We've seen San Diego do it for a time. We saw the Mets do it. Are the Astros going to be willing to do it for a guy like Kyle Tucker? The difference with Tucker now, and I'm not going to act like I know Drew Gilbert's going to be this great thing or if he's going to be bad. I, I, I really don't know, but you know, when you empty the cupboard for the uh, immediate future, you, you don't have a backup plan the way that you had for George Springer when you let him go. And it's not to say that the Astros don't have some decent options in the outfield right now, but they're not great players on Kyle Tucker's level. Here's what Dana Brown had to say on the Astros' flagship today. Quote, let me put it to you this way. Kyle Tucker will be a Houston Astro. We feel strongly about getting it done, and I feel he will be an Astro for the rest of his career. We'll get it done. You know how I feel if you've been listening to this show long enough about Dana Brown speaking like this. I don't like it when Dana Brown starts promising things that he has to deliver on. Because we've heard this when it came to Altuve extensions and Bregman extensions going into the year. I I think that Dana Brown is putting himself in a bad spot by saying, we're going to do this. Kills a little bit of the leverage that you maybe have in a negotiation. And on top of that, it makes you look like an idiot if you're not able to pull this off. So, politician Dana Brown, not my cup of tea. But I agree with this sentiment. You got to give Kyle Tucker the extension. Game like last night, what is the holdup? What is the wait? What is really in your way? A couple of comments, first off, on the Twitch. Twitch.tv slash ESPN 97.5. Junior Broncos says you don't have to pay Tucker until the offseason after next season. At what point does kicking the can down the road potentially bite you in the ass when it comes to getting that long-term deal? If you're Kyle Tucker and you got in a fight with the Astros essentially this offseason over $2.5 million, you're not going to come into the next negotiation and be like, oh, yeah, you know, whatever. No, you're going to, you are going to be combative. You're a competitor. You should go into that meeting that way. They fought you over two and a half million. Not that much in the grand scheme of things. I I don't think it was worth it. I really don't. And if if you're that, I guess, cash strapped, where two and a half million dollars is a big deal, then why did you give Rafael Montero three years and 34 million? Why did you sign Michael Brantley when you don't know about his health? Why did you sign Jose Abreu at all? Like, these are easy pieces of evidence for Kyle Tucker to bring up in negotiations. And you can say all these great things publicly, but that doesn't mean Kyle Tucker has to come to the table and be extremely amenable and agreeable. So I am i don't think Dana Brown is putting himself in a good spot 
when he's saying, yeah, Kyle Tucker will be a Houston Astro for the rest of his career. That is a bold, extreme statement that he has not proven to this point. Twitch.tv slash ESPN 97.5. You can also text in as well, 713-780-3776. King of all Twitches says, I'd give him six at $35 million a year today. But would he accept that? This is the tricky thing. You see all those $300 million contracts. That's what everybody's looking for and assuming that Kyle Tucker doesn't have some ticking time bomb like Carlos Correa apparently had in his leg. He is going to wait until he gets an offer like that. And honestly, wouldn't you? <laughs> you've, you've won a World Series. You've, you've been a damn good player. You don't really need that much more other than the generations altering money that you theoretically are worth on the open market. And yeah, it's great to play here, but loyalty has to be earned by the actual Astros themselves here too. It's a two-way street and they should give him an extension. Last night is not the only example of things that Kyle Tucker has done this season that merit this guy being a huge part of this organization organization's future. Uh, Tony the Handsome says, I'd give Tucker more than Otani. I'm not going to go that far. The guy pitches too. King of all choices, 210 to 250 milli seems like the market. Yeah, and, and you can rationalize like the six for 35 a year, but we've seen how some of these contracts eventually play out. Like the guys aren't playing so hot at the end of those six years. You want the lifetime contract. Is he worthy of a lifetime contract? To some team, probably. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what? How many guys this past off season got those like twelve year contracts? Because that's all it is. It is probably like, too many. <laughs> it is. Yeah, no. Uh, the S S Philly fans about Trey Turner. Oh boy, S yeah. San Diego fans they were, about Xander Bogarts. But before you can finish your point, Sean, did you hear that Phillies fans were sarcastically cheering? Trey Turner. Yeah, they're like, we have to get a, like. We're not booing him. We're cheering him. He's so bad that we have to like, like try to. Hey, Trey, it's all right. You got this. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're a Philadelphia fan and you're that now. I know. I mean, come on. Uh, it's it's an Eagles town. <laughs> it's cool. That is true. They act like they they know everything about sports. No, you only know about football and barely even that at times. Anyway, continue with your point. Oh, it's just that that. Uh, there's always going to be t- a team that's willing to be like, yeah, 13 years. I know it's a bad idea. Don't care. We want Kyle Tucker. Like the Angels. Like, like What like, happens when Otani leaves? Oh, well, we got money. Let's sign another they, guy on a team that will definitely underachieve. It's still $300 million. The Angels. The Rangers will, would probably do it. The The Giants this year trying to give $300 million to Judge, trying to give $300 million to Carlos Correa. Couldn't do it. They tried to give away they give did. $300 million to these people. I, I, I just think that you have to get the job. I mean, I know for whatever reason, guys don't like to negotiate during the season. And so it's probably a this yeah, offseason thing. Yeah, Brown's got other priorities right now. I, 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 but maybe it's, the, it's no, it's no. I mean, agent. I mean, like the players don't like Fair to enough. negotiate because I guess it's like if you start negotiating, then you pl- start to play poorly. Dumb, dumb fans and sports media talkers like us be like too focused on the money. Can't can't hit yeah. the fastball. Uh, so it probably has to be this offseason because you don't want him. You just don't want him to get to. N- when he's on the free market af- the off season after next. Right. Like you just don't, because then that's when you start bidding against all those other teams. 